Today, the health nugget is focusing on stigmatization and HIV AIDS. And my question to you today is, what is your responsibility? What is my responsibility in as far as stigmatization is concerned? Stigma is not only on HIV AIDS. Even as I focus on HIV AIDS today, I want you to ask yourself, where else have you been stigmatized? Where else do you know there is stigma? And I want us to ask ourselves, what is stigma? We need to understand what is stigma before we even address how it is affecting us. And stigma is really the unfair disgrace or disapproval of finding something or someone disgraceful or unworthy of approval. So when we stigmatize, what we are doing is we are unfairly disgracing somebody else or disapproving somebody else. And I want to take your attention to 1 Corinthians 12, 26. And I will paraphrase it because it says that we are all one body in Christ. And if one part suffers, then every part suffers. But if one part is honored, then every part rejoices. Indeed, if then we stigmatize one person, one family, or somebody, what we are doing is we are suffering that person, and in turn, we too suffer. Now, what is the biggest cause of stigma. The biggest cause of stigma, there are many causes, but the biggest cause, especially within our church and in our society, is number one, fear. Fear of uncertainty, fear of we don't know what this is, we don't know how long it will be, we don't know what else will present. So the biggest cause of stigma is fear. And the other biggest cause is ignorance. Hosea 4.6 says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. When we are ignorant, when we don't understand what is it that causes a certain disease, how is it contracted, how is it that people live with this, how is it that it's not contagious? When we are ignorant, we are quick of word. We are quick to disgrace. So then, how do we counter stigma? Indeed, the first thing to do when we counter stigma is education. Again, if we go back to Hosea 4.6, where it says, my people perish for lack of knowledge, indeed, the first thing that we should do is educate. We must educate ourselves. If I am infected or affected, I must educate myself. What, it is, what is it I must do to ensure that I stay healthy? What is it I must do to ensure that I do not get the triggers? What is it I must do to protect others? Once you have educated yourself, you must educate other people. I keep saying that we are the best doctors. Each and every person has one or the other condition. But the doctor, when you go to the doctor and you say, I have a headache, they will give you Panadol. But then they do not know what is the cause of your headache. You alone know the cause of your headache. You know you are stressed. You know you didn't sleep well. You know you didn't eat well. You know you didn't hydrate well. So we are our own best doctors. So the first thing is you must educate yourself. Educate yourself on what it is that gives you more um, inflammation. Educate yourself on what it is that you will do that keeps you healthier. Secondly, educate those who are giving you care. 
Tell them these are the things that you need to do. These are the things that I need to eat. These are the, the way I want you to love me and support me so that then I am able to live a fruitful life. So educate your caregivers. Thirdly, educate the society. If you are your own best doctor, if you educate society and let them know that if you do this, then this happens. If you also protect yourself this way, then we are a healthier society. If you don't talk and stigmatize me, then we move together as a strong team. Therefore, the third thing is to educate society. Number two on how to get rid of stigma or how to counter stigma is to take absolute personal responsibility. I as the infected, you as the affected, we must take ownership of our health. That is mental health, physical health. We must take care of our mind. What is it we are entertaining? We must take care of absolute personal responsibility of our tongue. What is it we are talking about other people? What is it that we do not understand but yet are quick of tongue to either gossip or point fingers? So the second one is you must take absolute personal responsibility, whether you're infected or affected. And the third one is compassion. Romans 12.9 says, let love be genuine. I repeat, let love be genuine about what is evil and hold fast to what is good. Be compassionate to one another. Yes, indeed, we do not have it written on our foreheads what we are going through, but we must remember to be compassionate to each and every person because every person is going through one or the other thing that they may not be able to speak about openly. So we must be compassionate to one another. So how do we again deal with stigma, whether it is HIV AIDS, whether it is cancer, whether it is COVID, whether it is singleness, whether it is um, relationship problems, how do we go about stigma? Three things. One, we must educate ourselves, educate those people around us, the church and society. Two, we really must take absolute personal responsibility. Take care of our health, know what our triggers are, how to prevent, and how to live a fruitful life. And third, we must ensure that we are compassionate to one another because each and every one of us is going through a journey that with, with ups and downs that we may not be able to speak about and we may not be able to show, but we must be compassionate to one another. Once again, I want to wish you a happy new year and a happy Sabbath.